Nearly 40% of Kiwi school children do not go to school regularly. How did we get here? We are a first world country. Or are we quickly about to lose that as well? How are we in this place? I'm not a parent, I've only got a little dog who's hiding in the corner, but if I was a parent, I would say there are a whole range of things going on, and if you're a kid, it's the same issue. Why would a child want to go to school wearing a mask, not being able to play and interact properly socially with a teacher who wants to talk about gender ideologies, who doesn't want to do their job and teach them actual resources that they are going to need to excel as a human being functioning in a modern society. For parents, you've got two fears. You've got one side where you've got parents that are terrified that their child might get sick. On the other side, you've got parents that are so worried about the indoctrination of their children that they are saying, stuff this, you can stay home. I know for a lot of people that I'm close with, they've gone into homeschooling, they've got their kids into more alternative schooling, and they're just going, no, we're not being part of the system. We are out. We do not trust what the government are trying to do with our children, and rightly so. I don't know if many of you have seen some of the new curriculum coming out, but the critical race theory that is now running rampant throughout not only our primary schools, but also our high, higher education is a large issue. They're trying to tell you that if you don't have specific bloodlines, that you are not good enough to be a Kiwi. You're going to have an entirely separate system depending on the color of your skin. I think that is so, so tragic that we are teaching this to young children, that you're showing them that we should be dividing people and segregating people. I didn't realize that we've apparently jumped back another 80 years in time. Our children need to be taught how to love themselves, not told that they should try and change or that they can pick the agenda. If you're an adult, do what you like, but as children, they do not need that. It is not good for them. And these parents that think that they're doing the right thing because of the amount of social pressure and political ideology that is rampant throughout our media. I'm just saying double think it. And I can understand why there are so many kids that are out of school. But how much damage have these lockdowns caused? when it comes to children's mental health and when it comes to their schooling, when it comes to them being able to get a higher education. These are all questions no one's tackled and it seems like most of our mainstream media don't want to ask the government. Kia ora. Welcome to Te Aho o Te Kura Pauname. What really helped last year was, you know, was getting, you know, like a, a weekly phone call from his, from his um, teacher and that was keeping him on the ball, but it seems, yes. it seems this year there's just been no chase-ups, no follow-ups. I don't know if it's because of COVID or what, but there's sort of just been left to their own devices. Um, Sorry, I'm just looking in another place about that sort of thing. Ah, right. Luke has changed from being a year 7 to 10 up to, he's moved up to year 11 this year, where he has lots of individual teachers and then one teacher that sort of oversees mm. um, things. Um, so it is, it is slightly different. It, once they hit the year 11 to 13, then, oh, okay. then in the lower year levels, um, so there is more expectation. Yeah, there is more expectation on the student to be starting to take control of their own learning. <laughs> um, <laughs> Isn't that lovely? I mean, it's, it's yeah, forty percent of of New Zealand don't even go to school regularly at the moment. Oh, I know. Shocking, and they're all well, a lot of them are ringing us and saying we want to enrol with you. Um, <laughs> with, with, with most our boys, it had to be through psychosocial assessments and all that sort of thing. Right. Mm -hmm.